Okay, uh, here is uh, question 10, so it has three parts. Uh, so here, um, f of x, y is sine of x times y. In the first part, uh, we need to find the rate of change of the function in the given direction. And the question is, is it increasing or decreasing? And to be honest, the question is phrased incorrectly because, you know, this um, it in the question, it kind of sounds like it refers to the rate of change or the point. So, you know, is the rate of change increasing or decreasing? Or is the point R increasing or decreasing? It, and it doesn't really make sense to answer the, the, this question. So the question is, of course, about F, right? So it, the question is, is F increasing or decreasing in the given direction at the given point, right? So that's the question that I'm going to, to, uh, to solve and I will later update the uh, tutorial handout. Okay, um, so part A, right? So F is, is given. So what is the rate of change in this direction? So first we need to find the directional vector, right? So, uh, well, let, let's first find the vector PR. So PR. Well, uh, so the, the vector goes from the point one zero to the point two three. So to compute its coordinates, we simply subtract one zero from two three. And this is two minus one is, is one and three minus zero is three. Now, um, but to find the directional derivative, we need to, to compute the unit vector uh, that points in, in that direction. So the unit vector is going to be uh, PR divided by the norm of PR. So it's going to be the vector 1, 3 divided by its own norm. And the norm is square root of the sum of squares of coordinates. So which is 1 over square root 10 and 3 over square root 10. So this is u. Again, so recall that the directional derivative is really nabla f uh, uh, dot product with u. So we need to compute uh, nabla f, so which is the gradient. So the partial derivative of f with respect to x is, is y times cosine of xy. Um, and partial derivative of f with respect to y is x times cosine of x, y. Okay, uh, oh yeah, at the given point. So at the given point, uh, x is uh, 1 and y is 0, right? So fx is, is what is uh, y is 0, so this is just 0, and fy is 1 times cosine of 0 is, is 1. So the, the gradient vector uh, here at the given point is just 0, 1. All right, and uh, now uh, we need to compute the dot product. So to compute the dot product, what we do is we uh, multiply the first uh, entries plus the product of the second entries. So, and the answer is going to be really, well, um, 1 over square root 10 times 0 is just 0 plus uh, 3 over square root 10 times times 1, which is just 3 over square root 10. Okay, so the answer is 3 over square root 10. This is part A. Now part B, find the maximum rate of change of F at the same point. So notice that the point is the same. So we already know that uh, the gradient vector at this point is 0, 1. And we've just computed it here. Uh, and the direction in which it occurs. So here uh, you need to look at the, at the lecture and on slide 76 there was this theorem that the maximum rate of change is just the norm of the gradient vector and the direction in which it occurs is just the direction of the gradient vector. And the minimum rate of change is uh, is minus the norm, and the minimum rate the, the the vector in which the direction in which the minimum rate of change occurs is minus the gradient vector. Okay, so so which really means that the maximum rate of change 
maximum rate of change here is, is just the norm of the vector 0 1 and it is just of course 1 and since it is already a unit vector it means that the direction in which it occurs is just just a vector 0 1 okay so the, this is 10b and now 10c uh, so basically uh, it, it's very similar, so only we need to find the minimum rate of change instead of the maximum rate of change. Um, but notice that the point at which we are doing the, this calculation is different, is pi, pi 1, right? So let me uh, find the gradient at this point. So partial derivative of f with respect to x is, well, I guess I computed it, but it's not very hard to repeat it. So it's going to be just y times cosine of xy. At the given point, uh, pi pi 1, so x is pi, and y is 1, so y is 1, so this is, cosine of pi is negative 1, so this is just minus 1, I guess. So partial derivative with respect to y is going to be uh, x times cosine of xy, and again, so this thing is still minus 1, and cosine x is x is pi, so this is minus pi. Okay, so it means that the gradient of f at, at our point pi 1 is really minus 1 minus pi. So what is the norm of the, of the, the gradient vector? So the norm of the gradient vector is square root of the sum of squares of its coordinates, so which is pi square plus 1 square. So by square plus one. Okay, so what is the minimum rate of change? So the minimum rate of change, well, is just the minus the norm of the gradient. So it is minus square root of y square plus one. And the direction in which it occurs is minus the gradient, right? So this, this direction is minus the gradient vector. So which is, I guess, it's just minus here and minus here so it's just plus so it's going to be one comma pi 